I want to address uh, one of the super chats before we move on to the next segment. Normally, we would just save it to the end, but people have pointed out that Ethan Klein has very, very offensive shows where he makes you know racial slurs and he says things like that and, and homophobic slurs. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I know. And I don't think that changes my point. I think my point is him getting rid of the Jordan Peterson episode is because he's scared of the left going after him and getting him banned. So he's siding with them in hopes that it protects him and they won't go after it's, him. It's a, the, the metaphor again is like if a doctor is like, hey, that, you have an infection, we're cutting it off. And you're like, ah, and then you start looking around at your body. You're like, that might be an infection. That looks like an infection. I'm cutting it off. He cuts well, that up. That might be an infection. Then everywhere he no, looks, no, 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 he no. starts to see potential infection. No, so no, he's no, cutting no, his on. own you're, you're, you're videos missing what, off. You're, you're missing what I just said. He has a video on his channel, someone mentioned, where he says racial slurs over and over and over again. He hasn't deleted it. It's not an issue of him saying, I've done something wrong. It's an issue of him saying, and this proves my point. It's not about him agreeing with the left. It's not about him actually disagreeing with Jordan Peterson. It's about him saying, this is what will get me banned if leftists flag my videos. They're not going to go after his iDubs thing. They don't care about iDubs. That's, that's what they're, they're mentioning. I dubs the interview. They're going to go after Jordan Peterson, which will get him in trouble. So I, I think he's, he's he, whether, whether he wants to acknowledge it or not, I think this plays a big role in his political shift. He's scared of getting canceled. He's siding with them in hopes they don't flag his content. But you're saying he has homophobic content he's not deleting? So I, I, I wouldn't call it homophobic. I would okay. say that he's intentionally being offensive as possible by saying a racial and homophobic slur together over and over again. And he hasn't. Right. He, I would so think that would be out. the first thing he would want to delete if he's concerned about people on the left coming after him. Not um, not if he sides with them. You see, oh, okay. are they going to go after a YouTube, a YouTuber? No. Are they going to go after Jordan Peterson? Yes. So he starts agreeing with them. He starts defending them. He starts saying, this seems safe and acceptable. Right. They're not going to flag my content, but they would flag Jordan Peterson. I'm not saying he's the smartest guy in the world. I'm not saying he's perfect. And there's another comment where they're saying, I'm just defending him. I'm like, dude, first, first and foremost, I don't agree with his politics. That's fine. Criticize the guy all day and night. I'm pointing out there are people like this is a guy who was just an edgy comedian. What does he know about politics? He's even said he doesn't know. And now he's getting inundated with attacks. So he decides to stay safe, to survive at all costs, like, um, who mentioned this? Uh, the other, was it the other day they mentioned the Gulag Ar Archipelago? Yeah. It's James. James? Yeah, James O'Keefe. Right, right. He was mentioning survival at all costs. Exactly. That's what this is. And it's strategic. If he really cared about what the left was saying, if he really believed it, he would have deleted that episode. He didn't. Mm. Which says to me, it is his fear of the culture war. I got more that it, he wanted to do a high-profile takedown of Jordan Peterson for views. That was my... That but he didn't make a video about it. He just tweeted I mean, I'm sure it. he talked about it on his new channel, but I don't think he's even done a full podcast. Yeah, you're right. Episode. There's more to it. Yeah, yeah. But he also everyone's, everyone's talking about him now, which also achieved mm. a goal of getting attention for this, which could have been something that he was seeking potentially. And if he removed a bunch of ones, it wouldn't be. Now he gets to do, he can remove a video every two weeks and stay in the limelight. Nice job, Ethan. Come on, dude. 